This is a bonus video for GIMP. Ellen, one of our group members, asked a question, can you turn a photograph into a colour colouring book page, like for adult colouring books and things like that? Well, the answer to that is yes, and there's a lot of different ways to do it. But I'm going to show you a, a way that's fairly simple and quick so that you can use it. So what we need to do first is open our photograph that we're going to convert. So we'll go to file and open left click on that find in your computer where that particular photo is I've already got it set up the photo that I'm thinking about so I've got it there and I'm just gonna press open down here so we've got this flower so what we're wanting to do is get all the outlines of this particular piece of uh, photograph. So we don't really need the colour now, so that's the first thing that I'd want to do. I'd go to colour, desaturate. What that will do is remove all the colour so you'll have a black and white photo. Don't worry about that, leave it as it is. And then what we then need to do is go to filter. Edge detect. And then edge. it brings up this dialog box to show you what it's going to look like and you can make adjustments but what you can see is it's emphasizing the uh, line art work so we're okay in that but that is no good is it for a colouring book because everything's black so what we need to now do is go to colour again and then come down here to invert now you could literally leave it like that that's your line art done but I'm going to show you some extra little bits that you can do to make it a little bit better so what I'll next do is go to this group of tools. We're going to dodge and burn, which is this one. We want to make sure down here that it's on burn and making sure that this is a reasonable size I'm gonna go over it like that. and you, you can see how it's bringing it up a bit more and I'm just left clicking and letting go in those areas until you're absolutely happy with that but you could you could go on for a while doing this. Another thing that you can do, and this is the uh, last thing, is go to your layers. I'm going to go to this here, which is uh, create a new layer. I want to make sure that that's transparent 
and just click like that so we've got a layer above that and go to the pencil now you might have to um, we take it down to one and make sure this also is definitely black you're clicking on left clicking on that and you can see you've got this and make sure that that's black and in certain areas where you want to draw because you're on making sure that you're definitely on this layer like that, by clicking on it again left click you've got your pencil set up and you literally can draw extra lines in if you need might be a bit thin that but but that's another way that you can add to the actual line art so this has been how to create line art for colouring books from a photograph using Gim. I hope that's helped you and see you next time.